What is up guys, DCRC back here again. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to cut out your Proline Trifecta Lexan 1 8 scale wing properly. So what I mean by properly is by how I've learned from the pros. So Adam Drake, Tanner Stees, uh, Ty Tessman. I'm kind of getting all their tips and all putting together into getting this wing as strong and as durable and as you can. So let's rip this thing open and start this. All right, so what you get inside is the wing itself. So here's the wing itself right here. And then the center divider, all the screws to hold on the wicker bill, and then your two different sized wicker bills, the small and large. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take off the film, the paint film. So start to peel this back, there we go, take that off. If you want to paint it, you can, and then take that off after you paint it. So it's off of there, I'm going to get it off of here. Then we're going to put this center divi divider aside for now, we're going to work on this. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is pick which level line that you want to set your wing at. Uh, I'm going to set mine for the lower line, but you can set yours for the higher, doesn't really matter. But for my specific uh, reasons, I'm going to cut it at the lower line. So get your scissors and just start cutting away. Alright, so once you do that, you just want to have a rough cut, but the number one thing that you want to do is round this quite a bit because that'll get it extra durable. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna round that off, make it nice and smooth with the Dremel, and I'll get right back to you guys. All right, so I just Dremeled the ends here of the wicker bill, and they're nice and rounded off, and we're gonna move on to the next step of getting the wicker uh, onto the wing. Alright, so once you get your two wicker bills apart, you want to uh, get your X-Acto knife and cut these, or Dremel, either one, and cut these nut holders that hold the nuts on. Cut those off, and I'll show you guys just in a sec. Alright, so once you do that, you'll cut off this outer ring right here, and you'll be left with this. And you want to do that with the rest of them, and then I'll show you the next step. Alright, so once you have those off, you'll have them relatively flush, and now we'll put it on the wing. Alright, so now what you're going to do is take your Sharpie. This is a fine tip Sharpie. And you're going to line the wicker bill on front, in front of the wing. The reason why we took those little nubs off is so you can put it in front of the wing, and that makes it so you can put the wicker bill further down. So then when you wreck, it's harder to rip those holes out. So, we're going to line this up as best we can and start marking the holes. So just one. Try to keep it lined up. Just two. Get that one a little bit better. There you go. And then the wicker bill kind of bends a little bit down. So, you're going to hold this. It's kind of tricky, but you hold that and press the outside up a little bit, and then mark that one. And do the same thing on the other side. Alright, so there we go. We got all four holes, and now we need to cut them out. If you have a body reamer with measurements, you want to cut to the two and a half mark, so, because that's how big these screws are. Alright, so you got all the holes cut out, and now we're gonna go ahead and put the wicker bill on. So now that you got the wicker bill on, just like this, you want it flush with the top of the wing. Now you will cut your divider to the proper size. So the way that we want to cut the divider is, uh, we want to cut a little bit off of this edge because if you put it on here it doesn't completely go on because the wicker bill 
just pushing it off. As you can see right here, it's kind of off the edge. So we want to cut some of this off right here. All right, so I cut part of the back off, and now it fits a little bit in front, which is good. You don't want it to be touching the wicker bill. Even if it flexes, you, do, you don't, don't want it to touch the wicker bill. All right, so I cut the edges off, or the, the height down a little bit. So as you can see, it is not as high as these outer uh, sides panels. Uh, so when it flips upside down, it doesn't bend these as easily. So now we're going to cut it, the holes out and put it on the car. So when you get your car here, you want to take your Sharpie again, line this up however, or as centered as you can, and how forward or backwards, however you want it. I want it right about there, right in the middle. And I'm going to mark one hole to start, or both holes to start out with, but... I don't know if they're both going to be in the perfect spot, so I'm going to cut one and then check to see if it's right and then cut the next one. Again, if you have a uh, body reamer with uh, measurements on it, you want to cut it to the, so you can see it better this way, the 8 millimeter right there. One of the holes out, um, and you can see it right at the 8 millimeter, it just does a press fit. Well, I say 8 millimeters, but that's for the x-ray wing. Uh, and now we're going to mark the next hole to make it as perfect as I can, both of them, symmetrical. So I think that'll be good. I'll cut that out and be right back. Cut them, up, cut them out, and they're perfect press fit onto the wing. So just press it on. And now we're going to take the center divider. Line it up the best as we can, and then try to mark right in the same spot. So remember, do one, and then come back to the other one, and then do that other one. Got one of the holes, and it does a perfect press on, so it's a perfect size. And we're going to try to line up the center divider straight as I can, and then mark the next hole. That looks like it'd be perfect. Look a little bit better. Here we go. Now let's do that one. So I just cut out both the holes. They're a perfect fit right on there. And all you gotta do is screw the wing on and you're complete. Guys, I hope this tip helped. Uh, this is a little tip just to help you guys have your trifecta wing last longer. If you're in a long race, hopefully this will have you finish the race with the wing intact. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and this helped you, please hit that like button and the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time. See ya!